Hi, um, my name is Ed Rao, and I'm a OBGYN doctor at Crown OBGYN in Quincy, Massachusetts, and I'm on staff here at South Shore Hospital. And tonight I'm going to explain how I explain to patients about the onset of labor and the defacement of the cervix. Many of us have been in the triage area and been faced with the prospect of sending a patient home who's having regular pain, but when we tell them that they're not dilated and they're not effaced, they say, well, what does that mean? So I've come to this method of explaining what effacement is using a um, metaphor of a turtleneck sweater. So I thought I would demonstrate it for you using a, a mock turtleneck. So here goes. This represents the uterus, and this represents the cervix. So the cervix has some length to it, as you can see. And as you get into labor, as I will show you, the cervix will get shorter and shorter, and then it will dilate over the, over the head. So, here we go. Ready? Okay. The patient comes in in labor, and their cervix is long, and it's not dilated. But as they get into labor, the cervix gets shorter because the head presses up against the cervix, and the cervix gets shorter and shorter, and now it's very short. It's right against the baby's head. So now we say that the cervix is completely effaced, or 100% effaced, and then it starts to dilate, and finally it gets fully dilated, and then we enter the stage where the baby can be pushed out, and the baby's head is delivered. And so I can explain this to the patient, and they have a better idea visually of what's going on with the whole concept of effacement and, and uh, dilation of the cervix. Thanks for listening.